Hello and welcome to another video. We've got today another batch of PSA returns. Um, in this we've got a mix of a few first edition Neo, some promos and a couple of Gem 4 sets, uh, Stormfront and Majestic Dawn. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So we'll start off first, we've got some Neo Genesis. Um, let's see what we've got here, we've got a Near Mint 7 Blossom. Um, a gem mint first edition togepi. Togepi's always have a decent value, so but I'm not actually sure what that would be worth. Um, we've got a, another gem mint 10, Bill's Teleporter Trainer. Um, we've got a gem mint 10, Gramble. We've got a gem mint 10, Quilava, number 46, this one. Um, We've got, and the last one, we've got a Mint 9 Hoppic. Uh, that's the first slot. And um, then, let's grab these. We've got a selection of first edition Neo Revelation. If I can just get these in the right place. So, we've got a Parasect Mint 9. And one on B9. Uh, Mag Cargo 9. We've got a Crobat Hollow 8. We've got a Quagsire 9. Um, a Farfetched 9. We've got a Gem Mint 10 Murkrow. A Goldeen in a nine. I've got an old rod, this one's just an eight. And we've got a skip loom in a ten. Got another ten, this one's a Geodude. Another ten, which is a Remoraid. We've got Shuckle in a nine. We've got Snubble in a nine. A Quillfish in a nine. A Slugma in a nine. Another Shuckle in a nine. A Smoochum, another nine. The nines keep coming with ape on this time. Uh, we've got a chinchow in a ten. A quagsire in a nine. A paris in a nine. Another paris in a nine. Um, we've got a crowbat. This one is the non-first edition version, but it is also the double hollow error. Uh, that's an 8. Got a Gem Mint 10 Murkrow. An Apom in a 9. Uh, Staryu is a 10. Healing Field, 10. A uh, swine up in a nine. Got Pokemon breeder fields in a ten. A uh, rocket's hideout in a ten. Zubat in a nine. Bloomberry in a nine. And finally, we've got unknown K, which is an eight. Shift those out of the way. And we'll get on to a few promos. It's a mix of sort of pre releases and other promos. So we've got um, this is the Mothin, which is a Majestic Dawn pre release. 
that's a nine. We've got a National Championship Blastoise promo from 2007 in a nine. I think that's the print of Blastoise from Crystal Guardian, so I may be wrong on that. This is the staff pre-release of Pyloswine, which is the pre-release for Stormfront, that's a nine. We've got a non-staff version of that Pile Swine in an eight. Um, we've got another non-staff version of it, also an eight. We've got a staff pre-release of the Majestic Dawn Mothim in an eight. And we've got another staff pre-release Pile of Swine, this one's a nine. We've got a Hitmon Top Wizards promo, Gem Mint 10. We've got a Celestial Storm staff pre-release Selly Stealer. I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation, which is a nine. We've got a Staff Unified Mines Amoongus, which is just a four, so I'm assuming there must be some damage somewhere that I missed on that. Not sure what. And we've got another National Championship Blastoise in a nine. We've got a Togepi Wizards promo in a 10. We've got a Cosmic Eclipse Staff pre-release Buzzwall in an eight. We've got the Staff Cosmic Eclipse pre-release Entei in an eight. We've got the Mew Hollow version of the Wizards promo, which is a nine. Oh, sorry, an eight, it's card number nine in the set. Um, we've got a, another national championship Blastoise in a nine. Uh, another Blastoise, this one's a 10. Very nice card. We've got the Wizards Promo Ente from the third movie, which is an eight. We've got a cool Porygon, which is also an eight. And we've got the Wizards promo Meowth, which is a 10. Well, that's in the promo, so we'll get the Gen 4 stuff first. And we shall start with Stormfront. So we've got here a Reverse Hollow Magneton in an 8. We've got Grovile in an 8. Electrode, another eight. No, not some over then. Um, we've got the other electrode from the set, which is also an eight. We've got Rapidash in an eight. We've got uh, Bronzong in an eight. We've got Pile of Swine, which is a nine. We've got Pichu in an eight. We've got the other Magneton from the set, which is an eight. We've got the hollow version of Garados from the theme deck, which is an eight. We've also got the hollow version of the Tyranitar from the theme deck, another eight. Strong eight theme running through these so far. Um, we've got a Star Raptor Reverse Hollow in a nine. We've got a Reverse Hollow Gengar, which is an eight. A really nice card that. We've got the Hollow Magnazone, which is a nine. The Reverse Hollow Farfetched in an eight. A hollow Sceptile in an 8. The Hollow Budu, which is an 8, or Budu, whatever the hell you want to say it. And um, we've got the Reverse Hollow Gyarados in an 8. We've got the Reverse Hollow Sableye, which is a 9. This is one of the most toxic broken cards Pokemon ever released. Um, they actually, for the first and only time ever, 
brought forward a standard format rotation specifically because of this card. Um, we've got the Pupitar, which is an 8, Reverse Hollow. Uh, Machoke, which is an 8. We've got Staravia, which is a near mint 7. Uh, Skarmory is an 8. We've got another 8, which is Scyther. We've got a 9 Driftblim. We've got the Yismagius Hollow, which is an 8. We've got the Raichu Hollow, which is an 8. And we've got the Reverse Hollow Sceptile in an 8. We've got the Ridge Giga's Reverse Hollow, which is a 9. And we've got the Lightning version of the Magnazone Reverse Hollow, which is a 9. And we've got Infernape 8. We've got the Luminion Hollow, which is a 9. The Drapion Reverse Hollow in an 8. We've got the Tyranitar Reverse Hollow, which is an 8. And finally, we've got the Dusk Noir Hollow in a 9. So, maybe open for a few more 9s in there, but oh well, it's not too bad. Um, onto the last slot, we've got some Majestic Dawn now. So, we will start off with a Reverse Hollow Starly in a 9. We've got Ambipom in an 8. And we've got the non holo Vaporeon in an 8. And we've got an Unknown P Reverse Hollow in an 8. And we've got the Umbreon Reverse Hollow in an 8. And we've got a Pseudo Wudo in an 8. Uh, Primplup in an 8. We've got a Munchlax in a 7. A uh, Lickitung in a 9. We've got a Mothim in a 7. We've got a Glaceon level X mint 9. Very nice card. We've got another level X. This one's Garchomp in an 8. We've got an Omanite Reverse Hollow in an 8. A Piplup Reverse Hollow in a 7. We've got Turtwig in an 8. We've got Bronzor in a 9. We've got a Fermi in an 8. A Chimchar in an 8. We've got Firo in a 9. We've got Spiro in an 8. And we've got a trainer here, we've got Super Scoop Up in an 8. We've got Eevee in an 8. A Stunky in an 8. We've got a Reverse Hollow Vaporeon in an 8. We've got a Chingling in an 8. A combi in a nine. We've got a near mint seven electric. We've got a reverse hollow Pikachu in an eight. 
we have a, another Garchomp level X, this one is a 9. And we have another Glaceon level X, this one is a 7. And we've got a Reverse Holo Chimchar in an 8. We've got Mom or Mums if you're English kindness in an 8. Oh, old Amber in an 8. Uh, metal Energy in an 8. We've got Recover Energy in a 9. We've got Staravia in an 8. Uh, we've got Warp Point in an 8. And then to end it off, we've got two Leafy on Level X's. The first one is a near mint to mint eight and the last one is a mint nine so not the best return overall probably a few too many eights for my liking in amongst the gem four stuff but we did get three mint nine level x's which redeems it somewhat so don't forget to like like comment and subscribe um, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.